Hello everybody, we're going to talk about food chains and food webs. The aim of this lesson is to be able to draw and explain a food chain and a food web, and to describe the energy that flows through a food chain. So, let's start. Let's start with food chains. I have the grass, which then is eaten by a caterpillar, which can be eaten by a bird, and that bird can eventually be eaten by a fox. So we've already said that the grass is a producer. The grass is a producer because it's producing its own energy. The caterpillar eats the grass. As you can see, the arrow is pointing in the direction where the energy is moving. So because the caterpillar is eating the grass, it's taking energy from the grass. Since the caterpillar feeds on the grass, it is called a primary consumer. He's the first consumer. The bird then eats the caterpillar. The bird is also a consumer, but this time he's known as the secondary consumer because he is eating the primary consumer. The fox finally eats the bird. The fox is known as the tertiary consumer because he is eating the bird which has eaten the caterpillar which has eaten the grass. So that's a simple food chain. The grass, which moves on to the caterpillar, then the bird, which is finally eaten by the fox. Let's go on to food webs. Let's think about the food chain we just spoke about. There's the grass, which is eaten by the caterpillar, is then eaten by the bird, which is eaten by the fox. Now, let's imagine that apart from grass, in our habitat, we also have the lions and thistles might also have rabbit and grasshoppers in our habitat. We can say that the rabbit it eats the dandelion. The rabbits can also eat the grass, so there are two arrows over there. We can say the, that the grasshopper eats the grass and also eats the thistle. Let's also imagine that there is a snake and an eagle flying around. So the snake eats the caterpillar, the fox apart from eating the bird, can also eat grasshoppers. And we can also say that the eagle eats the rabbit and the snake, and the snake eats the rabbit and the caterpillar. So now we can see that there are many food chains, even though we started with one food chain, which was the grass, caterpillar, bird and fox. Now we can see that there are many food chains meshing into one another. This gives us a more clear idea of the feeding relationships within a habitat. So before we mentioned a few terms, the first one was a producer. So in this food web, there are three produ producers. There's the dandelion, the grass, and the thistle. These are all organisms that make their own energy. We also mentioned the primary consumer. In our food chain before, the caterpillar was the primary consumer. So the primary consumer is the consumer that eats the producer. In this case, we have the rabbit, who's eating the dandelion and the grass. We have the caterpillar, who eats grass, and the grasshopper, which is eating grass and thistle. So the secondary consumer is an animal that eats the primary consumer. So we just mentioned that the primary consumer was the rabbit, caterpillar, and grasshopper. So who eats them? There's the snake, he's eating the rabbit and the caterpillar. There's the bird who eats the caterpillar, and there's also the fox, who eats the grasshopper, and the eagle, who is eating the rabbit. Finally, let's look at the tertiary consumer. The tertiary consumer is the one who eats the secondary consumer. In this case, we have two tertiary consumers. First is the eagle. We can see the food chain from the dandelion to the rabbit, who's the primary consumer, to the snake, who's the secondary consumer, and the eagle, who's the tertiary consumer. We can also look at the fox. The fox's food chain starts out with the grass, which is eaten by the caterpillar, is then eaten by the bird, and then eaten by the fox, who is the tertiary consumer. As you notice, the eagle and fox are both secondary and tertiary consumers. The final check. The food chain over here, shows an arctic habitat. 
count how many producers, primary consumers, secondary consumers, and tertiary consumers there are. Pause the video and allow yourself two minutes to work them out. When you're done, press play and check your answers. Okay, so how many producers are there? There's only one pro producer, and that is the phytoplankton. Exactly, phytoplankton is the producer that makes its own energy, like a plant. Primary consumers. There are two primary consumers, the coral and the plankton. Both of them eat phytoplankton, which is the producer. How many secondary consumers are there? There are five, quite a bit. The whale shark, which eats the plankton. There are the small fish, like sardines and anchovies, that also eat plankton. Sea turtles, which eat the coral. Mollusks, which also eat coral. And there's also rays, which eat plankton too. Now, how many tertiary consumers are there? There are four. There are the big fish who eat there are the big fish who eat the small fish who eat the plankton. There's the orca who eats the ray who eats the plankton. The ray who eats the sea turtle who eats the coral. And the octopus who eats the mollusk who eats the coral. Okay, remember, geography is everywhere. Thank you for watching.